we reported earlier, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has returned home from a visit to Canada to deal with a growing diplomatic crisis. But as Leah Henry reports, Netanyahu's brief trip here will always be remembered by a young man from Richmond who still can't believe his luck. Good to see you. This is the first time Jonathan Fader has seen his family in more than a year. I was very homesick and I just wanted to come home more than anything in the world and, and the universe sort of gave it to me in the most unlikely way possible. <laughs> so. A few weeks ago, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was watching a military exercise when he was introduced to Fader. The Canadian serves in the Israeli infantry. During a short chat in Hebrew, Netanyahu noted Fader's Canadian accent and asked him where he was from. The whole thing's a bit hazy because it was in Hebrew and my Hebrew's not so good and there's, you know, a hundred people there. And, but uh, it turned out well for me, apparently. Uh, understatement of the year. Netanyahu recounted the meeting at a pro-Israel rally in Toronto yesterday. I said, Jonathan, you're one lucky soldier because I'd like to take you on our plane so you have a chance to see your family. But it was more than just a plane ticket home. Fader was asked to travel with the Prime Minister on his private jet, the equivalent of Air Force One. The trip included a one-day stopover in Paris. He had to sign the OECD uh, agreement and I basically wandered around. I'd never been to Paris. I went to the Eiffel Tower, I went to the Arc de Triomphe. Stand up, Jonathan. Stand up. Fader was also feted in Toronto when Netanyahu singled him out during his speech. Jonathan's mom still can't believe it and is thrilled her son is back so she can spoil him for the week. Just like serendipity, you know, Jonathan was in the right place at the right time, not anything that was planned, it was just like it was meant to be. Fader has some mementos of his time with Netanyahu, but his first priority now that he's back is food. I want a non-kosher meat pizza because they're very difficult to get in Israel. Leah Hendry, CTV News, Vancouver.